there are studies that show that both cobalt and chromium, both through in vitro studies as well as in vivo studies, and I've also looked at individuals who have had um, hip implant and wear debris generated over a long period of time, there are studies that show that, uh, that there is mutagenesis, that there are changes in the integrity of DNA, that there are chromosomal aberrations that occur. Now, individuals, people look at that and they go, oh, that's an indication that uh, this causes cancer. And the answer to that is no, it's, it's, it's more complex on, than that. It tells us that there's information that, that speaks to a mechanism that could contribute to cancer, but you don't have the epidemiological studies to close that loop and say, at these levels of cobalt exposure or chromium exposure, or in individuals who have uh, poorly functioning or malfunctioning uh, implants, that it's leading to cancers, that it's leading to frank, uh, to, that it's leading to frank cancer. Um, so, so, so I think if Depew had, you know, had done this type of testing and shown that, you know, our, our implants are going to generate wear debris uh, that's going to produce uh, uh, chromosomal aberrations, then, then they never would have, my opinion is they never would have had the product approved. So it's really at the product approval part, uh, uh, process that a lot of those issues speak to. So given that there, uh, that there is some indication from the scientific literature that there are health consequences uh, due to exposure to, to cobalt. And, and we've talked about what some of these health consequences are, that, that there can be uh, cardiomyopathy, heart problems, that there can be hypothyroidism, an effect on, on the thyroid gland. Uh, perhaps there's neurotoxic outcomes. Maybe even there's, uh, there, there's uh, you know, carcinogenesis uh, or, or a cancer as, as, as an outcome. And, and again, the, the, the weight of the evidence uh, that shows a strong association between cobalt exposures and any of those outcomes is lacking, but nevertheless there is some information that, that speaks to, uh, to these issues to the extent that uh, individuals ought to be aware that these are possibilities. Given the possibility, given that awareness, the prudent um, you know, way to, to go forward is to have these very honest dialogues with your healthcare practitioner to, to follow up with your healthcare pr practitioners, uh, to, to have these conversations, to ask them to you know, include um, you know, these types of, of tests that assess these various um, you know, functions and, and organ functions as part of your normal health screening uh, over time. And, and, and so really it's, you know, the message is uh, you know, don't, don't, don't fall back on, on, on you know, the other aspects of, of your healthcare.